Okay, good day everyone. Our topic for week 2 is Venn Diagram. Venn Diagram, by definition, is a diagram that uses circles to represent sets. The relation between the sets is indicated by the arrangement of circles. The Venn Diagram is a way of representing sets visually and is named after its inventor, British mathematician John Venn, from 1834 to 1923. So Venn diagram is used to see or represent relationships or connections of sets through the arrangement of circles. Take note that Venn diagram is named after the British mathematician John Venn. His last name is Venn, so that is called as Venn diagram. So let us have the illustrative example number one. Use Venn diagram to represent the following sets. Set U consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Set A consists of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. While set B consists of 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So this is the answer for illustrative example number one. Take a look at the Venn diagram. The two sets of common elements, 6 and 8. Therefore, we need to write these elements in the intersection of the two circles, in the middle part. Then write the other elements of each set in the other part of the circle. Do not forget to name the, the circle first. The elements of U that are not in A or B must be placed outside the two circles because they are under the universal set or set U. Take note of this. When you are making a Venn diagram, you always start with their intersection or with their common element. Let us have this illustrative example number two. Use Venn diagram to represent set and set operations. So here, our given is the Venn diagram. So let us name all the elements under set A. As you can see, in set A, we have 2, 5, 6, 8, and 9. You will write the elements from lowest to the highest. Okay, so if we are going to look for A intersection C, just take a look on the elements of A and C. Their common is 8 and 9. So, A intersection C is 8 and 9. Next, set B. All the elements found in B. So, we have 1, 3, 7, and 9. If we are going to look for B intersection C, take a look on the circle B and circle C. And their common element is 7 and 9. And then, set C. Take a look on the circle C, write all the elements under that set. We have 4, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Arrange from lowest to highest. And then we are going to find their intersection. Intersection of all the three sets. So that is 9, found in the middle part of the three circles. Let us have illustrative example number 3. The problem is 60 students of grade 7 charity were asked if they have pet animals at home. 40 of the students have dogs and 35 have cats. You are to answer the following questions. For A, how many students have dogs only? For B, how many students own cats only? The last one is, how many students have bought pet animals? For our solution, we are going to use a two-circle Venn diagram. Let us represent them as S1 or set 1, set of students with dogs only. Set 2 or S2, set of students with both pets. That is their intersection. Set 3 or S3, set of students with cats only and we have also u as the universal set for finding the elements in this region we are going to have this formula 
n quantity s1 plus n quantity s2 plus n quantity s3 and represents the number is equal to the number of students as is equal to 60 and then we're going to subtract 60 by 40 40 represents the number of students who have dogs if you are going to find the number of cats we're going to subtract 60 by 40 so our s3 or the number of cats is 20 20 of students who have cats only so for us to find the number of students who have dogs only we should subtract 60 60 is the total number of students as 35 is the number of students who have cats so that is 60 minus 35 we have 25 so 25 of students who have dogs only so we're done with the value of our set 1 and our set 3 so for us to find n of set 2 we have 25 that is the value of our s1 plus n quantity s2 because that is unknown plus 20 that is the value of our s3 is equal to 60 that is the total number of students so th that would be 25 plus 20 combined so that is 25 plus 20 that is 45 60 minus 45 that is 15 so the value for our s2 or the number of our set 2 is equal to 15 to summarize all the answers this is the final answer for our s1 of students who have dogs only we have 25 for our s2 of students with both pets we have 15 for our s3 of students who have cats only we have 20 okay that would be all about venn diagram thank you and god bless